Hey guys, what's up? I'll be guiding you through a step-by-step -step process on installing Xcode so that you can easily run C++ and C programs. The first and foremost step is to open the App Store and type Xcode in the search box. You can directly hit the download button from here or if you're like me, you can go and check the version and developer and verify whether it's stable. I already know that. So let's click install and wait for the application to get downloaded. It is a long download. So as soon as it's installed, just try to open it uh, either from your application window or just clicking and searching. It may take a while to open on its first install. Uh, click on install for the additional required components and uh, make sure you have admin access to the current workspace that uh, this is going to be uh, working on. Make sure not to select the option of installing Rosetta. And after the Xcode application loads, let's see where we are with the welcome screen. Okay, so from here, create a new Xcode project and wait for the components to load up. It will take some time. Don't worry if this is slow. Since we are developing this on a Mac OS machine, please select the tab Mac OS and from there click on command line tools. Then you will have to write a project name. This can be anything. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm writing and uh, just make sure that it lies with something related to what kind of program you're building for the language from uh, select C++ from the drop down and the organizational uh, or the identifier anything it can be any test string so just click on next and uh, yeah make sure that uh, the folder which you're saving to is known to you and uh, let's kind of name it code C++ and I'll create this uh, on my desktop so I can find it easily and retrieve it and just get started from there so as soon as you open the project, you will see a main file. You can click on it and just uh, check out the boilerplate code, which is being provided as default. Just change it. And let's do one thing. Let's write a for loop where I'll initialize a variable i and make it iterate till five. And I'll increment it after every step. Here I'll print out a simple star I know this is a very simple C++ program, but you know, just for demonstration purposes and to show that everything's working fine, including all the um, headers. Oh, and click on run and the build will succeed. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll be posting more soon.